We are back from America. We have had our downtime. It is officially off season for the Stockton Brothers. Uh, 9, 10, 11 days, whatever you want to call it, since we've been back from America. Like I said, we've had a week just to recover, get back into the swing of things. Our food now changed. Off season training's been sent to us, so it's going to be balls to the wall. <laughs> Monday, we are starting with deadlifts for myself. I think it's Kind of the same program, but we're doing a different exercises. Obviously, Luke's sh shoulder is still a bit kind of sore. His deadlifts needs a bit of an improvement. So it's kind of, like I said, same kind of accessories, but the compound stuff, as you see today, will be a bit different. So we've also obviously got different goals and different problems we need to sort out. So yeah, it's going to be quite fun. It's going to be nice to have less food in us. It's going to be nice to have some fun training as well. We don't have any pressure on the competition, so it means we can kind of chill in the gym a wee bit and have a bit more banter between us, which is what I think a lot of people have been missing as well. So yeah, I'm excited to get back. Are you excited to get back? Very excited. As you can see, we're in an office here. The carpets are down, the walls are painted, and now we're going to get down to the gym. Watch this, this is going to be a magic trick. I'm going to click my fingers and then we're going to be in the gym. Should we click them? One, two, three. <laughs> ah. Oh, it's not the gym. Right, let's try that again. Right, next time we'll click the fingers, we'll be in the gym. And here we are, outside the Stoltman Strength Centre, back for our World's Strongest Man 2022 prep. As Tom says today, we have deadlifts. I'm finally doing a normal bar, which I don't actually know what a normal bar looks like now. <laughs> We've been doing actual bar for so long, so three sets of eight, no suit, and we're going to do a stiff bar as well. Just, again, I don't even know how to pull on a normal bar anymore, so it's going to be fun. It'll be fun. <laughs> nice to get back to basics. I've got some pause deadlifts. Uh, so we're going to go get the compounds done and then some accessories, maybe a little bit of mobility to warm up. So come on in and let's get prepping for the World's Strongest Man 2022. Tom Stockman's got more than one. We're going to make it Luke two Stockman times one. only needs one and then he's done. Retired. No more strong man, but maybe a little bit more. I don't know, maybe who knows. Let's go. We've got a new haircut, guys. Kept the curls. Got it smooth. <laughs> ah, good God. Ah, right. I'm dizzy, blood. Right, so that's us done our warm ups. We're only going up to 220 today. Um, as we said, first session back, so it's about building. Happened till um, May, June, whenever Worlds is going to be. So Tom's got sets of eight. What have we got? Three? Three sets of eight. So Tom's doing three sets of eight with us. I'm doing five sets of three, paused. Let's see how it goes. And as Tom says as well, using the mirror fit um, stiff bar. So. There's not much flex in it, so that is a little bit different as well. So, trying to cover all aspects, you know, deadlift bar, axle bar, stiff bar, whatever we can, we'll try and cover everything. Right, so guys, as I'm doing my deadlifts here, a few goals that I want to hit next year is obviously £1,000 plus on the deadlift, which I know I'm capable of, and then when I uh, 
my Britain's Strongest Man title again, and then the biggest one of them all. This is why we're doing the off-season training, and I'm going to stick to it as you know, best as I can. Diet's going to be on point. As you see, this is our first session back, so uh, it's all light and volume, but the most main goal for 2022 is to win World Strongest Man again. But my main goal is World Strongest Man. That's what's driving me now every day. All I think about is World Strongest Man 2022 next year. I'm doing everything I can to improve my weaknesses, so I need to get my deadlift up. I need to stop making you know, these little mistakes, dropping the yoke, so we're putting into practice a lot of new methods of training, being in touch with Squat University, he's giving me some mobility stuff. Fitness wise, I need to improve slightly as well. And yeah, just cover all bases for World's Strongest Man because if I win World's Strongest Man, that is the Stoltman legacy. That's it complete. So I need to do everything I can in my powers to win World's Strongest Man next year. Right guys, that's the first deadlift done. So nothing too heavy, 220 pause deadlifts. So that's the first time that I've paused on the way down uh, in quite a while. It felt different, it felt okay. Shoulder feels fine when I'm pulling, which is nice. Breathing a little bit hard, I think with all the comps we've done and then having the last week or so off, just a little bit more fatigued, but because it's lighter, we should be able to recover quicker. Uh, so that's not gonna be an issue. We'll just keep adding the weight and reps up as we go on. And our endurance will hopefully get a bit better. But Tommy, how was your eights? Yeah, it was good, uh, it looks good. 220k, pretty fatigued after obviously competing in the last week, just eating what you want and doing what you want to kind of out of routine a wee bit. So, hard getting back in it. Like I said, we're breathing heavy, we're not kind of fit anymore. But the goal this off season is to do a lot of volume work, get some body weight drop down, and then heavy and big push for the comps next year. So, you know, just to get some body weight off, get fit, and uh, the rest will come. But yeah, feels good, you know, figure of eights. First time on a non axle bar as well, which is nice and comfy. So, yeah, apart from breathing heavy, it's all good. And quick one as well, because Tom just said that we have changed up our diet. So, Nathan's given us our off season kind of diet plan. So, I think Tom said as well, it's dropped down a lot. So, you're now only on how many eggs a day? Eight eggs a day. So. Uh, eight eggs, only eight eggs. Um, I'm only on six eggs. Um, it's dropped down, I think mine's just 260 grams of meat. and. Um, so yeah, that's just kind of dropped a little bit, a little bit more vegetables and fruit into our diets. Um, so that'll be interesting to see where the old body shape goes over the next six weeks or so. I think you know we'll lean up, lean up quite nicely, um, get that six pack for winter time in January. It's, it. it's just a cardiovascular. That's what we need to do. So, get that sorted, and we gradually put on weight again, just like last year. So easy, easy, easy. Next up, we've got box jumps. Working on that explosive. Straight jump, landing straight. Get those explosive fibres going. See how that goes. Hopefully, we don't break through the the minifoot bench, but I'm sure it'll be okay because it's solid as a. That's the box champs done. Nice and easy, nice and explosive. Now we're moving on to stiff leg deadlifts. Look again, same exercise, but he's doing different reps. I've got three sets of eight, I think he's got three sets of five. He'll be doing it a bit heavier, but first week back, I'm just gonna go nice and light, get uh, nice and control of the weight, feel every muscle fiber in my hamstring. Hey. We call this the Kello Cornflakes. That's done um, our barbell work now. So we've got some face down incline dumbbell rows, some one arm straight pull downs, some shrugs, and then some hollow holds to finish off. So this is now into the accessory part of the, the deadlift back session. Um, so everything we're doing is obviously to try and get a, a bigger deadlift or for me a better deadlift. Tom's deadlift, we just finished second in Rogue. 
But with that being said, we can always practice, do better. Practice, 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 you know. So by the time May, June comes next year, you know, we're firing all cylinders. So the accessory stuff is just as important as sometimes the main it's Sometimes it's more important, isn't it? So again, we're going to attack it. I have to keep attacking it, attacking it, attacking it. As Tom said, keep going. And we too, or sorry, me too, could be like Tom, the best in the world. Don't you know, sure. Latch feel nice and pumped after that, that's a nice one. Now we're going to do some shrugs with the bands, three sets of 25, hollow holds, as Tom would say, and that's it, done. So let's do some shrugs, get those traps. Nice and easy, nice big pump. Good first session, but now we're just going to finish with hollow holds and then. First session done, good session, happy? Very. Sweaty. Nice pump, sweaty. Haven't felt my muscles working like that in a while, so it's nice. It's nice, it's not too late in the day. We've got to go and clear out the cold tub so we can do our hot and cold later on. Um, pop back to the office, do a couple of bits. Hope you enjoy the video, guys. Thanks for all the support from the SRO video that went out. It was awesome to do a video with the SRO guys, so cool. Hope you enjoyed our video as well. Stay safe, smile, and stay spicy. And please don't forget to ring that little bell. Ding, ling, 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 ling.